Everybody, a round of applause for Dr. Gregory C. Hutchins, Jr. Thanks, sir. Thank you. And let's give a round of applause for Mr. Scott Merriman, please, because he is our Director of Transportation and has done a phenomenal, phenomenal job. You know, this celebration, it includes the rollout of five new electric vehicles or buses to join our 118 uh, vehicle fleet here in Alexandria City Public Schools. And the new buses, they come from our school division's partnership uh, with the Dominion Energy Electric School Bus Program, which has provided 50 buses to 15 localities. So let's give a round of applause to our Dominion team. The new electric buses, they also allow for Alexandria City Public Schools to reach the largest percentage of clean energy among Northern Virginia school divisions. So that means that we have the largest percentage of clean energy among all of the Northern Virginia school divisions, which is a huge, uh, a huge accolade. In this unique public partner, uh, public-private partnership, the Dominion Energy Program, it provided the batteries as well as the charging stations that are needed to operate the five buses um, that we purchased. And I want to keep in mind that the price of these buses are the same as the price we pay for a diesel bus. I mean, that is a key factor because a lot of times people think these are just too expensive for us to afford, but we're, we're paying the same amount and we're providing cleaner air for our environment, which is a huge undertaking for us. The new uh, buses, they operate entirely by electrical uh, power. They help store electricity and they stabilize the power grid uh, while creating a quieter ride for our students. And as you all know, students can be loud on buses. Uh, and sometimes it's good to have a loud bus because then you can't hear all the noise that's going on for our bus drivers. However, we're happy that our buses are quieter because it does allow for our bus drivers to better communicate with students and for students to better communicate with our bus drivers while they're on our buses. They are also 60% um, less expensive to operate and maintain. So they may be the same price as our diesel buses, uh, but they are 60% less uh, in regards to um, expenses. Um, and that is to operate and to maintain, which means that we can invest more resources uh, into our students as well into our schools. So, as you all can see, this is indeed a monumental uh, moment, and we appreciate our partners who have contributed to this new chapter um, for us. And now I'm going to turn things over to our Madam Chair, Megan Alderton, to share a few words uh, with you all. Um, I'm excited to be here and to celebrate uh, the partnership behind this initiative. And I'm thankful to Dominion Energy, our state officials, Alexandria City Council, and everyone who made this possible. I want to give a special congratulations to uh, our ACPS transportation and facilities and operations teams um, for all their hard work to make something like this happen. We continually seek ways to support our students' learning and providing the transportation for our students is a part of that initiative. Um, but the beautiful thing I think about this initiative is that this innovative partnership, um, these electric school buses are also enhancing and providing a number of benefits for us, including reduced emissions, cost savings, and enhanced grid reliability through vehicle to grid technology. Replacing one diesel bus with one electric bus is the equivalent of removing 5.2 cars from the road each year. So this is something really to celebrate because as we know, um, not only do we need clean energy, but we also need renewable energy. And this is a step in that direction. The electric school buses will serve as a grid resource by creating additional energy storage, technology to support Dominion Energy's integration of distributed renewables, such as solar and wind, and provide additional reliability. The vehicle to grid technology leverages the bus batteries to store and inject energy onto the grid during periods of high demand when the buses are not needed for transport. And during a power outage or emergency, the batteries serve as mobile power stations. Again, thank you all for being here. Thank you to all the partners of this initiative. These public-private partnerships are vital to the future endeavors as we prepare our students to thrive in a clean, renewable energy world. 
I am Charlene Whitfield, Senior Vice President of Power Delivery at Dominion Energy, and it really is a pleasure to be here today, and thank you for the weather. It is gorgeous. Um, really excited to be a part of this partnership, and I'll tell you some of the reasons why. Um, electric school buses are one of the most sustainable innovations to arrive on the scene in the last few years. They offer multiple benefits to our school children, to our communities, to the electric grid, and to the environment. And I just want to go over a few of those benefits. If you look at, if you talk about the air inside of a school bus, a lot of things haven't changed about the school bus from an exterior perspective. I commented on that when I arrived. Whoever invented the color ye yellow, they were a genius because it, school buses have been yellow forever. But the air inside of these electric school buses are up to five times cleaner than the air on a diesel bus. And the less exposure we have to those fumes and our children have to those fumes, the better we are. The buses also come equipped with safety belts. At Dominion Energy, our number one core value is safety. We never compromise on safety. And so when we entered into this partnership, one of the things we insisted on was that the buses have safety belts. It's because we value the safety of our students. Electric buses cost less than half as much to operate and maintain. I was talking with Scott a little bit about that earlier this morning, and I think we're going to reap some benefits from the savings that we get from operating and maintaining electric school buses. And then finally, but certainly not the only thing, the environmental benefits of electric school buses are impressive. If you look at transportation in general, it's the le leading cause of greenhouse gas emissions. The more electric school buses we can put on the road, the more we can reduce those greenhouse gas emissions. At Dominion Energy, <coughs> we have a goal to be the most sustainable energy company in America. And we want to make the world a better place, not just for our customers, but for our communities, and especially for our young people. We've set a target of reaching net zero carbon emissions by the year 2050. When we'll do that by investing in renewable energy as well as battery storage. We now have one of the largest solar portfolios among our utility peers, and we continue to build solar facilities every day. We're developing the largest offshore wind farm on this side of the Atlantic Ocean. We're helping farmers out by reducing their emission. We can capture the methane from, that the farmers produce and turn it into renewable natural gas. And we're working comprehensively on energy storage. We have four battery storage pilot projects that we're working on. And we also operate the largest pumped hydro energy storage facility in the world. Electric buses are in, an important part of this overall picture. And we don't want to stop with just cut, cutting our own carbon footprint. We want to help our communities reduce their carbon footprint as well. It's understandable that we can't do it alone. It takes public policy support, and it takes willing partners at every level. We are grateful for our partnership with Alexandria City Public Schools, and we want to also recognize our partners with Sunny Merriman and Bay Electric, who have also made this a reality. So thank you for that. We're thrilled to be here to roll out these buses, excited about getting an opportunity to see the batteries and to take a ride. And uh, again, just thank you for the partnership and being able to make this a reality. This is a big deal. I stand in front of you as president and CEO of of Sonny Merriman, and I'm, I'm humbled and privileged to be here. And I say that from my heart because I just joined this company three months ago, and they represent class, and they earn Scott's business, and we're going to continue to earn your business in the future. But this is a big deal for us, and it's a big deal for me, too, because of my past. Because before coming here three months ago, I was president and CEO of Thomas Bill Buses. So I've been dealing with this baby for five years now. <laughs> and when it was just a little infant before it came, but it's a tremendous amount of responsibility and respect that we have to be your partners here as your dealer representative and make this a, a as much of a flawless and, and transparent experience in, in, in transporting those beautiful minds that we can. I, I want to share some, some ideas and give you something to remember today. I believe that each organization, whether it's a, it's a private organization like Sunny Merriman or Thomas Bill Buses, or a 
public organization like yours, Dr. Hutchins, exists for a purpose, to serve society. And Sonny Merriman's purpose, I believe, is to create a great customer experience. A great customer experience. And we happen to be in the school bus business. So we need to create a great customer experience for transporting beautiful minds, beautiful curiosities, and doing it in a very special way. In my 20 years prior to this in the school bus business, special ways would be making sure this guardrail was really strong in case there was a, a crash, or making sure that those cameras up there provide the drivers a 360 degree view so they can operate. While I stop on drivers, let's all give a shout out to a school bus driver today. Woo! Much in demand, under-respected, but we love you. Thank you. But. The electric vehicle gave us more of that sense of purpose of serving society in a very special way. I was having a conversation with one of my older daughters um, about 10 days ago, and just we're all amped up about being able to do something like this. And I said to her, Erica, how else in my career, what other projects can I get involved in that can have such an impact on society and do such great things? It's, it's once in a lifetime. And my daughter, who is two years into her teaching, two, two months into her teaching career, looked at me and said, Dad, I'm a teacher. I get to do that every day. That's right. And I thought, Woo! She, she got me on that one. I'm working on a she, she got me. But the point is, this is special for us because it can be special for your community. Another story, a young man has entered my family's life. His name is Layton, he's 10 years old, and I have a 1970 Dodge pickup. Hi hypocrisy is coming out because it's not the most efficient and clean vehicle, so I don't try to drive it too much. But as I took young Layton, who was nine years old at the time, inside the, the truck, we're going to town, we're gonna get him some ice cream at McDonald's. And this truck's got nothing in it, right? It doesn't have a radio, it's got a steering wheel and a shift lever. The door's got three things on it. It's got that little black piece where you put your arm, armrest. It's got a chrome handle, you pull for open the door. And then there's this round thing with an arm on it. Layton says, what's that? I said, that's the window crank, Layton. That's the window crank. This is an opportunity for us to teach the next generation of what's that. When you look at that tailpipe, we want you and your kids to say, what's that? That tailpipe will be a thing in the past in 15 years. We'll be able to go to some district, probably not here in the Commonwealth, because you're more progressive, but maybe up in the Midwest where I grew up. And we'll see that tailpipe on some old bus sitting out in the lot that's 15, 20 years old, and we'll say, what's that? What is that? Because we're electrifying the fleet for our kids. So it's special, Scott. What we're doing here today is special. And as we present these, I'm going to give you a homework assignment, then close my remarks and pass it back to you. But the homework assignment, you're raising an infant for your community. She's going to grow up. And, and do a great job. But these five buses are now members of the Alexandria community. Be proud of them. When you sit at the dinner table, when you go to a restaurant tonight, tell the story about how these vehicles eliminate 314,000 balloons worth of greenhouse gases. 314,000 of these a year per vehicle. Tell that story tonight at dinner and how proud you are of your community, of your school district for doing this for you. Right. A week from now, over the weekend when you were with friends and family, have a conversation. You may be in some of those awkward political discussions. I don't like those. Shift that and let's talk about the Glasgow Climate Summit that just ended. And that how the rhetoric there was that Yes, we want to all drive down emissions, but no one has done enough, and your district has. Tell the story about how there's 17,065 millimeter batteries that you're going to go walk under out, out, out there and the impact it has on your environment. 